Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number one. In this video, we will discuss the DX Sudoku terminology used in our videos. If you are new to solving Sudoku puzzles, you've come to the right place. Our videos are designed to get you thinking the right way about solving Sudoku puzzles. We hope you get a huge value in watching our videos, so please reward us by making a donation. Again, welcome to the DX Sudoku video training series, and thank you for your support. Let's begin. Consider the following Sudoku. A Sudoku puzzle is composed of a 9x9 grid of numbers. The numbers already filled out in black are called givens. Each number location is called a cell. In a 9x9 grid, there are 81 cells. Cells can be referenced by a row, comma, column, pair. For example, the cell 2, 3 is highlighted with a black box. It contains an 8 as a given. 2, 3 stands for row 2, column 3 as shown. Next, consider the following completed Sudoku. The goal in solving the puzzle is to fill out the numbers 1 through 9 so that each number 1 through 9 occurs once in each row, column, and 3 by 3 block. Notice each row and each column has each number 1 through 9 only once. This only once idea is key in coming up with logic to decide which value we should pick for a cell. The numbers we fill out as we solve the puzzle are called values. The values we put in are colored in blue. Each row, column, and block is called a house because it contains one full set of numbers 1 through 9. There are a total of 27 houses. There are 9 houses for each of the three types, row, column, and block. Here are the 27 houses in order by row, column, and then block. Row 1 house. Row 2 house. Row 3 house. Row 4 house. Row 5 house. Row 6 house. Row 7 house. Row 8 house. Row 9 house. Column 1 house. Column 2 house. Column 3 house. Column 4 house. Column 5 house. Column 6 house. Column 7 house. Column 8 house. Column 9 house. Block 1 house. Block 2 house. Block 3 house. Block 4 house. Block 5 house. Block 6 house. Block 7 house. Block 8 house. Block 9 house. Consider the same Sudoku puzzle again from the beginning. This time, for each cell, we are showing all the possible candidates. A candidate number is a number the cell could be, but we are not sure yet. The remaining numbers around the cell determine which candidates can occur in the cell. For example, consider cell 3, 5, which is highlighted in green. All the numbers the cell cannot be are highlighted in red. So the remaining possible candidates for the cell 3, 5 are the possible 1 through 9 numbers that do not show up on the puzzle highlighted in red. Think of it this way, there can't be a 2 as a possible value in cell 3, 5 because there is a 2 in cell 2, 4. This is because the given 2 in the cell 2, 4 is in the same block 2 house with the cell 3, 5. In other words, the cell can't be any of the numbers highlighted in red because they share the same house with the cell highlighted in green in row 3, column 5. All the Sudoku puzzle solving techniques are designed to remove possible candidates from cells. When there is only one remaining possible candidate in the cell, we choose the remaining candidate as the value for the cell. Notice the cell in row 7, column 2 has only one remaining possible candidate. So because there is only one remaining possible candidate for the cell, we choose the value 4 as the value for the cell. Again, all Sudoku puzzle solving techniques are about eliminating possible candidates from a cell until we have only one remaining possible candidate left, which we choose as the value of the cell. 
This completes the Exodoku training video number one. Thank you for watching.